to show you how to uh, do some um, batch processing to work on all these files at the same time and also um, an introduction to the adjustment brush in Adobe Camera Raw. I'm going to start off as always in Bridge, open these, highlight these thumbnails and open into Camera Raw. And you can see all four images are appearing uh, on my side panel here. And I can decide which one I want to work on, or I can highlight them all. And if I do that, whatever changes I make to one will be applied to all of them. That's one excellent way to um, batch process. However, there's another way to do it, and that's simply to work on one image, create a preset, and then uh, apply that preset. OK. So let's see, what, what, I, what can I do to improve this image? First, I'll initiate the profile corrections. Next, I think I will hold down my shift key, double click on my black slider, and it will find my black point, which is right up here. And I think I'll back off just a little there. Instagram looks better now. I'm going to again hold down the shift key and double click on my white slider and now I've I've maximized my contrast without losing any detail uh, thereby by lowering the blacks and increasing the whites I have increased my contrast without really ever touching the contrast slider which would have been another way to do it okay Next, I will bring down my highlights a little because that halo is a little overblown. And that looks pretty good. I think I would like to adjust the color a little bit. So I'll come over uh, to my color mixer and maybe add a little bit of blue to uh, saturation to that blue. That looks good. So now I will. Uh, Let's see, the next thing to do is to create a preset. You can see I've already got several presets and I think I'll create a new one. I'll call this uh, demo and go OK. And then by clicking, uh, by activating now these other three thumbnails. If I click on demo, it will apply the same changes I just made to all three of those images. Nice, huh? So this is really useful when you shoot a lot of pictures in the same lighting conditions with the same exposure, then usually this uh, approach will work. Next, I'd like to zoom in a little bit on the Buddha's face here. By the way, I shot this picture in uh, in Venice, California, and I think what I'd like to do is darken and maybe change my halo a little bit. So I'm going to um, come here to my adjustment brush, and I can uh, work with um, change the size of the brush by. Uh, using this slider or by using my bracket keys, which is what I usually do. The feather of the brush is the outer um, part of the concentric circle. This has quite a bit of feather, which I generally like. Flow means how quickly will it be applied, and density is sort of like opacity, how quickly, also how much of it will be applied. So that looks like a pretty good place to start. I'm going to use an auto mask, which I'll explain momentarily. And I've got my mask options clicked, which basically means um, as I paint in this area with the brush, it, uh, it will detect, it will show me the area that's being affected. And because I'm using the auto mask, it's not overflowing very much beyond the uh, black line and the head of the Buddha because 
it's sensing that there, there's a change in content there. So there's a kind of content awareness. Now, if I do make a mistake and I slip outside of the area that I want to paint, let's just do that on purpose for a moment, then I can go to my eraser and I can erase that. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I can either before or after I can I've painted, I can apply the effects I'd like to happen, and I, I can keep changing these as many times as I want. So I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I'll add a little texture, maybe I'll add a little clarity, uh, but I will reduce the exposure. I will reduce the contrast and reduce the highlight. It's only affecting that one area. Now, if I um, unclick the mask option, you can see um, the before and the after. I could also, if I wanted to, I could add a little color. Oops, I have to activate that first. It adds a little color to that um, area. Maybe a kind of golden color. I could maybe add a little saturation to that area as well. And again, you can see very quickly the enormous changes I made in just a few moments using the adjustment brush and the presets. One more thing I'd like to show you is what happens when I don't use the auto mask. Let's create a new brush here. And I'm going to paint in this area. Oops, I have to click the mask option so I can see what I've painted. Okay. See, um, it, it, it doesn't detect the edge. Whereas if I use the mask option here, it detects the edge. So it, it works much better. I don't want that, so I'm just going to delete it, or I could erase it. All right, so play with this. It's, it's really uh, an amazing tool, and uh, it's a fairly, uh, fairly new to have all these options available to us, and uh, so might as well use it. Have a great day, and oops, I'll stop the video here. There we go. Bye-bye.